A million bucks in liquid assets differs from what it used to be, but it's still hard to amass. Back out such things as the value of real estate, the bulk of most wealth of people is tied up in their homes, employer-sponsored retirement plans, and business partnerships. And around 6.7% of American households qualify as millionaires. In this video today, we'll look at old money communities in the Northeast. So clearly, you don't want to miss out on this. Number 5. Torrington, Connecticut Torrington in Connecticut is the largest town in Litchfield County, which has been a popular retreat for Manhattan's rich, as well as the chic looking for a remote mountainous retreat. It's an in-state draw for all millionaire folks from the Stamford area too. Although Torrington might be hidden in the state's northwest corner, millionaires can escape Connecticut's onerous tax bite. Real estate taxes are among the highest in the country, and this state has not only a luxury tax, but the country's only gift tax. Number 4. Easton, Maryland Tiny Easton on the Chesapeake Bay's eastern shore prides itself on its out-of-the-way feel, with country farms mixing with lavish waterfront estates. It's long been a retreat for the well-to-do of the mid-Atlantic, seeking antique shops in solitude. Easton's proximity to the beach and abundance of parks and good schools make for an idyllic small-town experience for residents. At the same time, the town offers easy access to several major cities. It's less than an hour away from Annapolis, the state capital, while Washington, D.C. and Baltimore can be reached by car in about 90 minutes, traffic willing. Number 3. Williston, North Dakota The city of Williston expanded rapidly during the first half of the 2010s, driven by the explosion of shale oil drilling that once gave North Dakota the fastest-growing economy in the nation. This city, in the oil-rich back-end formation, soon found itself home to fracking millionaires. But as soon as anyone who works in the oil patch knows, booms and busts are an integral part of the industry. Also, a steep drop in oil prices first sparked pain across the back-end about five years ago. And when demand finally started to improve, the COVID-19 pandemic slammed the energy sector. Demand for oil is gradually returning, but it's by no means taking off. More than 9% of Williston households are considered to have millionaire status. But the absolute number of millionaire households actually declined from 2019. Number 2. Vineyard Haven, Massachusetts No surprises here, the place is stunning and has long been an old money community favorite spot. Vineyard Haven is a town on Martha's Vineyard. This is a phenomenal island off the coast of Cape Cod and the Census Bureau classifies the entire island as part of the Vineyard Haven micro area and it's also one of the most desirable summer vacation spots in the Northeast and has long been a favorite of the rich, the famous, and the powerful. Indeed, ex-presidents like Bill Clinton and Barack Obama have summered here, and let's not forget to mention that Jacqueline Kennedy long maintained a house here. So its locale is not easy on the wallet, as seen by the exorbitant real estate prices. It can also get crowded. Martha's Vineyard has around 17,000 year-round residents, but the population can swell to 200,000 during peak summer months. Number 1. Claremont, Lebanon New Hampshire, Vermont The Claremont, Lebanon micro-area abuts Lansonia, and it has plenty of its own attractions. Perhaps best well-known is Hanover in Vermont which forms the northern tip of this urban agglomeration. It's located along the Connecticut River bordering Vermont. This 50-square-mile town in the Upper Valley is home to Dartmouth College, the smallest of the eight Ivy League colleges. And as a result, Hanover buzzes with a diverse mix of art, culture, and outdoor sporting and recreational activities year-round. Another attractive outlook of the area is that the city of Lebanon operates Stores Hill with a 20-acre ski area that hosts three ski trails, a surface lift, two ski jumps, and a ski lodge. As residents like to point out, there are only a few towns that have a groomed ski area right downtown that's accessible to all. Have you ever visited one of these communities? Let us know in the comments below. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the luxurious world of old money. Until the next video, stay classy and keep dreaming big.